Hey folks, it's Rifgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. If we get plenty of light in here, it's going to help a bit. I mean, yeah, I can't actually see anything because I've got the old fog of war going on. And my guards can't be everywhere all at once. So we need to do something about that. Which would be more CCTV. That seems to be the way forward. If you can get CCTV everywhere, uh, that seems to sort of help, doesn't it? Right. Lights everywhere. There we go. Okay, so I've now got lights everywhere, and I've also got um, the rest of the water coming in. I've got 114 prisoners. I'm getting two grand a day. I've got 44,000 right there. I'm going to let them go and do that. Decrease... 20,000. Maximum loan is 250,000. My credit rating is 10. So I can get an absolute fortune if I want to. Um, current loan, 28,000. Apparently I'm not allowed to decrease it yet. i got to wait until i got a bit more money. So there I've got my guards coming through. And this is where I was thinking of putting another door. I don't think that's going to hurt, actually. Walls and doors. Large jail door. Just drop one in there. That's going to hopefully make life a little bit easier for some of the prisoners and some of the things going on, stuff like that. Uh, Bill have 20. I got half of them have gone through that one and then the prisoners on there and I need to do a laundry. Staff are exhausted. That's not good. I've got visitors on site. 46 prisoners up for parole. Have I got to... Wait a minute... Have I got to assign regime policy? Parole cutoff. If a prisoner has a reoffending rate less than this value, they'll be released at the end of their parole hearing. Programs. Finance. Valuation. Jobs. Right, I don't worry about that. Uh regime now what about parole tool clean up cell block d erase your prisoner capacity to 200 can i do that still with luxury cells i'd like to i would because I, I i sort of set myself this challenge of doing it with uh, doing it like that um so yeah I, i'm not quite sure but th this whole parole thing I don't know if I'm actually using the parole or not. And I, I don't know where to find out about it. Prisoner c category. Oh. You need to actually assign it. Right. Okay. We, we, we need to do that. There. Start the parole hearing. 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. A hearing to determine... Is a prisoner, if, if a prisoner is eligible for early release, a successful release in which a prisoner doesn't reoffend will award a nice bonus, led by a parole officer in a parole, well, room, I suppose, assisted by a parole lawyer. Session length, four hours. Each prisoner requires a visitor table. After either 50% or 75% of the sentence has been served, can hire externally. Students sit, can be outside of work hours. Teachers sit, students can be escorted by guards. Easy. Right, now, you can do one hearing at a time. Parole hearing, 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. So maybe I should have another parole room over here, and they can be escorted down here. That's a staff door. You know what we're going to do? We're going to change this over. Go to you. Dismantle that staff door. Then I want to go to walls and doors, and I want to go to a jail door. I'll put that one on there. All right, that's going to be... We'll, we'll put a jail door in there instead. Uh, let's get rid of that a second. And this room here, that can be another parole room. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to get a visitor table in here as well. That one's going to go exactly like that. It's going to be exactly the same. So they can be escorted down here. They are allowed to be escorted into a zone where you don't want people coming in. So that's absolutely fine. Although it would be better if it wasn't here. It would be better if I had them going somewhere else. So 
Where would I do that? Because the parole room's got to be 5x5, five five, and that is 5x5. Five five. That's the minimum. So the only other option I've got would be to dig into the side of this one and put a brick wall across here. So move that one up by one. Move that one a bit. And then remove that one round so that then I've got a wall that comes over so that they're not being escorted down through this external bit. But then they're parole they're parolees, aren't they? They're, they're going to be on their best behaviour for a parole hearing. And if they're not, they're pretty daft. You're up for parole, so you're going to try and escape while you have your parole hearing. I can't see that happening. I can't see that being a thing. Um, jail door. I'll put a jail door in there. Like that. And then this room here. Rooms. I'm waiting on... We're waiting on some guards. All right, let's just get rid of that a second and do this. I'm waiting on a guard to come down here. Come on, there's got to be a guard here somewhere. Is there any guard going to come in and do the key here? There he is. You took your sweet time. Maybe I should have a staff door on that. Yeah. All right, staff door it is. Dismantle that one and dismantle that one. Do that again. So he's going to come down. I've got a janitor wants to go in there and clean. And now they want to come out again. So I need to get my staff to come in here and do that very quickly. And then i got a staff door, which I will replace with. So that needs to be open so that they can replace that one. And then that one can go in there. And then I'll put it that way. That one will go into there. All right, open that, move it. So staff door is going to be a lot easier. I don't have to wait for a guard. That's a much simpler way of doing it. And then I can do that. And then I can go to room. So that one over there is on its way to being done. Uh, common class parole. There, so I've got two parole rooms. Because i got 40-odd people who are up for parole now. So I can go there. And... Parole hearing. There I go. I got my parole officer, parole lawyer. Parole lawyer led by a parole officer. And I'm waiting for a prisoner. 6 a.m. until 10. So I've got two rooms there. 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And then 2 until 6. Right. I've got six parole hearings per day. Going on. That's pretty good, I'd say. Six parole hearings per day. So there's the parole hearing dude. And we've, so I've got a, a chief's office, a foreman's office, accountant, psychologist, warden. Do I need to have another office? Parole lawyer. Parole officer. And then they're starting to work through that. So I've 46 prisoners up for parole. It's going to take a while. They've got to start working through a bit of a backlog. So six parole hearings per day. That might end up being too much. It might not. I'm, I'm not really sure at the moment. Prisoners should be able to help in here to do move ingredients to deliveries. All right, I should have enough storage in here as well. Okay, so far, I'm pleased with my progress. But despite being pleased with my progress, I'm still somewhat frustrated by the fact that the recording is coming out all glitchy. But there doesn't seem to be anything whatsoever that I can do about it. I have tried, and I've tried, I've tried all sorts of things, and I'm really sorry to the because I know that some of you don't really mind. Uh, some of you watch it on two times speed, so it doesn't actually make any difference to you whatsoever because of the two times speed, uh, but some of you, it does affect your viewing, and I really apologize about this. I Literally, I've tried everything that I can think of, and nothing is working for it, and it really, really does bug me more than you realize. Now, why aren't they using the common room? They're supposed to... I've got a common room. Nobody ever actually seems to come in here, though. Right, this is something that bothers me, is that they're not using this common room. I got... Oh, hang on. Clean indoor area. Right, well, he's coming, he's, he's helping doing the cleaning, but he doesn't... I don't know what else he's doing. 
So we've got people helping to do the cleaning. We've got kitchen staff up here. I've got deployments. And I've got the common room. So if I get all prisoners to be allowed in this sector. There and there. That should be right. Uh, I don't really get it. Should be all right. Now, I've got over here on the cleaning cupboard, I've got a staff door. And somebody said in order for the people, the, the prisoners to help, I should change that to a regular door on there instead of a staff door. So I'm going to try and do that a minute. Walls and doors. Go on there and... Right, I can't swap that one over. So I will get rid of that. And then that one right there I will dismantle. And then I will... Let's just speed that up a little tiny bit like that. And then I will go to a wall and door over here. And I will get the door. There should be a member of staff along momentarily to... There he is. He's going to remove that one. And then I'll put a regular door on there. So that the people can help. There we go. I'll put that one onto there like that. That should be all that I need to do with that. Right. Now what I'd like to do is this up here. This is approaching the limit of what I can do with power. So let's just slow things down a minute. And then I want to go with a fence. I got a perimeter wall. I was thinking of building a perimeter wall. I'm not going to do that yet though. Because it's quite expensive. It's 200 um, per square. We can't afford that. I don't have that kind of cash available. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that over to there. And then I'm going to drop this down. Like that. Over to there. And then I'm going to drop that into there. Like that. Then I've got... He's trying to get through this way. Where's he got? Oh, he's released. Ah, he's released on parole. The big question is, should I keep this bit here or not? Now, I've got members of staff. They go in around here and they go down to that one there. So that's why they're going through. And then they're also coming through here. I think maybe I should get rid of that jail door there and not have that one. Um, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. Because it's handy having those being able to come in. I suppose we can keep that. Because this up here is all restricted access anyway. Or it's going to be restricted access. It's uh, I did already previously have it set to restricted access. Let me speed that along and make sure that right, they've done that bit. Now I can go back to walls and doors. Demolish wall. And I'm going to remove that line of fence right there. Have them get rid of that. Tick things along again. Now, the one other thing that a lot of people have been pointing out to me that I've been missing is I've not been paying attention to the symbols that come up. In particular, there's one that I've missed frequently, and that is a symbol that comes up to tell me that there is a... Oh, hang on a minute. Um, there's a, a symbol coming up to tell me... Right, I'll do that right there. People will try to avoid access-only zones, if possible, preferring to take other routes around your prison. Ah. Right, I should have that as the outside edge, right? That here, this, this should be an access-only. Right, access-only through there. So they will avoid it if possible. But I kind of done this so that the canteen staff have got an easy way to get through. We'll see if they still do it. I think they're still going to do it. Poor bloke's really tired. Maybe I should get more canteen staff. I don't have that many. Do I? I've got eight cooks. I think maybe I should have two more. One, two. There. So we've got two more cooks coming in. Um. Right. So, yeah, I've, I've been told that I need to keep an eye out for the little symbols that come up. One in particular is when um, prisoners are digging escape routes, and I've been missing I've been missing those. So I need to pay more attention to what's going on. So I will try to do that. 
We'll absolutely try to do that. Right, I'm going to bring that down to there like that. Is that going to be... You know what? I only need to move it over a couple. So I'll just do it like that for now. I'll just put that onto there. And then I'm also going to go remove... Uh, demolish walls. I'm going to remove that wall there and that wall there. And then I'm going to go with that door there and I'm going to dismantle it. And I'm going to go... That jail door can stay as... I'm going to dismantle that one because I'm thinking that we really want that one to be a... Not a jail door. We don't want... We want that one to be a staff door. So then the staff can actually get in and out. Um... Though I thought when there was a riot, you wanted to stop them being able to get in there. And so, therefore, the staff doors were not quite so good for it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Now, next bit. That one, I want to move right over to that side. And then I'll move the drains over here as well. Like that. And move... Now, what have I moved? Oh, they're moving the, the lights. Uh, he's moving that one in. And I'll move that one over as well. I've got CCTV in here. I need to build more monitors for that. And we go to utilities and... Uh, electric cable. Dismantle that one and that one. Then take that electric cable there and run it over to here and up to there like that. So they put that in. Then take the large pipe here. Run that over that way and up to there like that. So that joins on. And then I need to separate out the rest of the prison. So if I just do that a minute, I've, I've got to separate this out so that I've got two separate spaces for power. That's what I'm going to need. Now at the moment i got no water anywhere. So I just need them to finish doing this bit out here. It'll take them a, a couple of minutes. They're mostly done now. They've actually they've done all, almost all of it. There we go. We're just putting that last little bit in and we're putting in the pipes as well. There we go. Still waiting on one piece of pipe. Utilities. Right, we're waiting on that piece of pipe. That bit of pipe right there might be handy, but I'm not going to worry about it. There. So pipe is in. Everything else is in. That's all good. Right. Now I'll slow down. So next what I want to do is make sure I've got power distribution separated out. i got water. Why is the water not coming on down here? Utilities. Water there. Why is it not coming on down here? Oh, it is now. Right, that's all back now. That's that's where it should be. So I don't need to worry about that. I'll go back to slow time. I'm going to want to build a laundry, but I'm not worrying about the laundry at the moment. I'm thinking with power, what we'll do is... That's the kitchen there. I was sort of thinking that if I was to take one lot of power over here, and that deals with everything down this way, and it does all of this down here, then all of the utilities will be taken care of with the second power station. So I have one power station to deal with just the block, and then the other power station will deal with the rest of it. So we go electric cable like this. And I'll go over to there. I want to remove the electric cable right there. So I want to dismantle the utility. There. That's where I want to dismantle the utility to start with. Separate that one out. And then... I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, there is. There's, there's another bit. So I need to have electric cable here. And that needs to go... 
all the way across there so that joins in all the way through and then I need to go here dismantle utility and remove that electric cable so I've now got it joined in and it's, it's gonna be separate and then the new electric cable, I've got an idea for that one as well. So that bit there is coming out. I'm going to have to put a pipe back in there, like that. That'll be fine. And then electric cable, that one is going to have to go up here like this. And then along there, like that. And then I want to come into here, and I want to go to power station. I can't go there, I need to go over by one. So I want to put a power station there. Then I'm actually going to want to dismantle that utility there and that utility there. Prisoner intake filter capacity, six prisoners arriving, 8 a.m. Why is it flashing at me? I don't know why it's flashing at me. Okay, I've got to remove all of that lot. And then I've got to put electric cable back. I'm going to put it down like that, over this way, under the wall, like this. This is how I'm going to do it. There. Remove that. Now we will speed things up a little bit. So I've got a severe lack of power in places, which is going to cause me some problems. Danger. Prisoners with serious complaints. i got no power at all over here. They are putting the cable in, but I need them to remove this lot pretty quick. And that one's in. Right, we're going to have a riot on our hands in a minute if we're not careful. So I need to make sure that I get this done. That needs to go up there and connect onto that. I've got the new pipe coming in here already that's being connected up. So you can go onto there and you can go onto there and that's going to put the water back. You're already in place. I've got everything else done, I just need to connect those in, and then I want some capacitors to go around this one. If we can just get those to be connected up, that'll be most of that, although I don't think I'm going to have enough power on there. Let's remove that. Now, how are we doing with power? I've got power on everything else, I just don't have power and water in here. Water should be, as soon as, well that one there, that's, that's the one. There's a bit. We've got a couple of cables coming in. These workers are a bit slow at the moment. There we go. Right, water is back online. Switch on. That's... Ru yeah, that's running at its limit. I, I don't have enough in there, so I want to go to utilities. I want to go to capacitor. These are a thousand apiece, but they're worth it. I'll do that all the way around, like that, there. So I've now got the next one in there. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five to there. Leave a gap of one, and then, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Leave a gap of one, then one, two, three. I've actually got room. I mean, if I, I will have to move that one out a little bit, but I do have room for a third generator later if I want one. I definitely have room for a third generator if I should want one. Let them come in. There's a couple of capacitors already being installed. There comes the rest of them. Cost us a little bit, but there I've got those on already, so switch that on. That's all. That's, that's full. Right, now let's try it. Switch on. That's more like it. I got one more on his way. I've now got full power all the way through. Plus, I already had power around the outside edges of the prison anyway. That was all fine. Right. There's another bit done. We're, we're, we're all good so far. I've got 113 prisoners now. Chief's office, we got plenty of cleaners, they're using the cleaning cupboard, they're going through and doing everything that they need to do. 
I want to go back in. I, I haven't noticed any symbols come up. But I'm not very good at noticing those symbols at all. As many of you have already figured out. I'm not very good at... No, I, I, I just don't see them. Right? Uh, these things that flash up around the screen. I, I, I completely miss them. I'm, I'm useless at this. Um, I need to build a laundry. I've got to build a laundry. That's an important thing that we've got to do is build the laundry. So we've got the foundation education program here. And then the general education program. Now I've got people... We've already gone through here. I've got five past. Forty have finished that one. Five have passed it. And then the general education here, I've got people in it. What's going on? Why are you rioting? What's going on here? Shouldn't be any riots. You should all be happy and cheerful and, and, and pleased. Let's have a look at our needs. Let's have a look at these. Clothing. Well, this is the laundry thing. And then luxuries. They want some luxuries. A few people would like some luxuries. But we, we could do with the laundry. It's finding somewhere to put it. Because as our prison expands, we, we're going to want more room for other things. I'm thinking we could build a small laundry over here. And then maybe trust the prisoners a bit. Let them come in through. They come out through here. They go through that jail door and they get into here, into a laundry. Let's try that. Uh, I want to go to rooms. Well, quick build. Shower, shop, classroom, workshop, common room. Okay, it doesn't have what I'm looking for in there. So I want to go to rooms over here. And... You know what? Li prison library would be good. Right. I need a laundry machine, a laundry basket. It doesn't have a minimum requirement size, so we, we just want to put whatever room we can here. So we want a building. We want a brick building here. I want one gap there beside it, and then I want to go out like this. So it's going to be sort of a tall-ish room. Let's go up there. There's the room that I want to build, and then I want to build... Uh, walls and doors. I'd say for a laundry room, we just want a regular door to go on it like that. Because they're, they're having, they're going to have to go through that room there anyway in order to get there. Now, CCTV cameras. Somebody suggested that I put a chair down in here for the CCTV cameras. Put one there, and put one there. So they've got a chair to sit on to, to watch them in action, which I suppose is not a bad idea, really. That's not a bad idea at all. Walls and doors, we will build a brick wall down that side there, because we don't want the fence as the outer edge. And flooring, I'm going to go with paving stones here, and I'm going to build paving stones up to there. And I'm going to build paving stones over to there. And then that bit in there, I don't really know what we could do with that. Whether I could extend the kitchen. I think maybe I'll extend the kitchen a bit. That's what we'll do. Right, I want to go rooms then. No, I don't. I want to go walls and doors. And I'll go for a staff door. I don't even need to do that. And take... Oops. I didn't mean to double click that one. Uh, take that staff door and I'm going to move that one over to there like that. And then I'm going to take foundation. And I'm going to put that there like that. So they come out and put some foundation over that bit. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.